All right, the Reds, it's a special preview show because it's a special game this weekend. Liverpool v Manchester United at Anfield. Uh, we can't get together in our usual way and do the Friday night show that you, we know you all love. So we're trying something a little bit different. Me and Neil having a chat, but we've gone up a level in the technology and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you notice the difference. Uh, so yeah, Neil, I mean, how are you feeling about this big game then? There's a lot of pessimism and, and moany stuff online, but are, are you feeling confident? I think there's. I think people are in gem, are generally not always having a nice time at the moment. I'm mm. finding, you know, just to speak for me personally, I'm finding this lockdown tougher than the first one. To be honest with you, Gareth, and I think that there's a lot of people who are in a similar boat. So there's feeling personally sort of pessimistic, and then there's the football. And on the football side, obviously, we're conscious of our issues at the heart of that defence, and we're conscious that we're not the the side that we've been in the past that we were last season. So I think all in that there's a bit of this stuff all gets mixed up in itself. So in general, I'm absolutely gutted that we're not getting fifty five thousand at Anfield. Obviously, I am, and we always say it, but it's always true. But on the other side of that, I'm actually both a really looking forward to the game. But B, I've got so much confidence in this Liverpool side. Every single time it's been in a game, a proper game this season, I think it's been the better side. For an hour against Manchester City, I thought they were the better side. All right, they don't get the results. But they're the better side against Everton, the better side against Chelsea, the better side against Arsenal, Wolves, Leicester, you could go on. And so I'm, I, I think Liverpool are going to put a bit of a show on. I'm really looking forward to the weekend. Yeah, me too, mate. And, you know, with, with Manchester United, look, you've got a unfortunately give them some credit for the fact that yeah. they, they are actually top of the league, that their away record is fantastic and it's the best in the league and it's they've taken as many points on the road as we have at home because we've got the best home record. So it, it's these two forces clashing, or, or at least that's how it will be presented over the weekend. But I think, Neil, you know, you, you, you dig into it, don't you, and you look back at the last matches and, you know, all of that kind of thing. And when you start to do that, I think that's where you can get excited about Liverpool winning here because, you know, United, yes, unbeaten on the road, but they're going behind against Brighton, they're going behind against Newcastle, Everton, Southampton, West Ham and yeah. Sheffield United. They give you a chance. You know, West Ham, for instance, have 19 shots on goal and Manchester United win 3-1. Now, I'm not saying they've fluked the position, but it does kind of feel that it's unsustainable what they're doing across the course of a season and they've got... They've got us on Sunday, which will be a big test for them. They've got Arsenal, they've got Chelsea, they've got Man City and they've got Tottenham away. All of them away in the coming months. And I think there's two conversations to have. There's one about this weekend and then there's one who's going to be there at the end of this who's going to be there at the end of the season. Yeah, I think one of the things they've developed, there's two things that I think they've shown really, really, you know, really strongly in. Firstly, is playing in bursts. So I think there's been times this season I saw them against West Ham and I saw them against Southampton and they were really poor first 45 in both. But when the opportunity was there for them, they had a really good, strong, big 10. The other things that they've done in both those games and in others as well is they've shown resilience. And listen, we saw all the power of resilience last season. So it's worth crediting that. But we showed resilience last season in a, in a different way. We tended to be steamrolling games from the off and United haven't been doing that all the way through the season. For me, I think there's, there's a fair chance that you know United might start a little slower that's what they've been doing in these games and then it's one thing to show resilience up against Southampton and up against West Ham it's another thing entirely up against Liverpool at the moment and in general so for me I'm I think you're right to sort of look at what's behind those performances and I'm not going to start doing it you haven't played anyone because part of what we've seen is well you can say you haven't played anyone but we went to Southampton and got beat 1-0 we yeah. didn't come back uh, when we went 1-0 down against Southampton they were 2-0 down and they turned it around I think Southampton learned from that experience don't get me wrong but I do think that you know we, we can't just say oh well you know who have you played because right now everyone's taking points off everyone it feels like but I do think you are right to say and I think it's interesting the United supporters themselves are the ones who've been around the block are very conscious this is only 17 games in yeah. there's a lot still to do this season and there, there are those tougher ways that you've just talked about and we're the first one of them yeah I think it's interesting the sort of different conversations going on in United world if you like so yeah you know, we can all see Gary Neville getting excited about it and I almost wonder how much of that is his little mini rivalry with Carragher like you know <laughs> he's, he's got to big it up because that's what Carragher always does but meanwhile, you've got Solskjaer, you look at what he says, you look at his body language, everything about him, really. And for me, he's, he's really playing it down and he's really saying, listen, we might be top now, but that counts for nothing. We're going to the champions. And it seems to me like he's doing the, the managing expectations thing, maybe almost that he knows himself that this could very quickly turn the other way. 